All right, guys. Today, I'm going to be cooking some Earl Campbell's Red Hot Links. I had two left. Uh, put them, I put some butter in the skillet, and I'm on about medium or a little lower heat. Um, split these things up, cut them right down the middle. Fry them up in a little bit of butter. I'm going to try to make me a sandwich today. I'm going to do a little bit of experimenting with it. But these things right here are really good. Uh, you can boil them and make a really good hot dog and a really good like chili dog or you can fry them up like this and they're great for breakfast uh, last two days we, we didn't have eggs so I fried these up and had some corned beef hash with it but they're, they're real good and what I'm going to try to do let me go over here and get the bread. I'll try to make a sandwich. I've got some. You know what? I was gonna do. I was gonna do this Dave's Killer bread, good seed, but it looks like we got just some regular white. I think regular white would be good for what we're actually. That bread, that Dave's bread's real good, but this is. Uh, I'm gonna try to toast this a little bit in that uh, butter when these get done cooking. And then what I'm gonna do, so I've got some uh, Hellman's mayonnaise. And I tried this just a second ago in a little saucer. I mixed some of that mayonnaise with some Frank's Red Hot Sauce and it makes for a real tangy, spicy mayonnaise. So I'm gonna try to put that on there. And then we got a slice of cheese. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to keep flipping these until they're pretty crispy. Oh, yeah. And uh, I saw a lady on Facebook, she cooked these things up. And she cooked them with like some maple syrup or something. And I have tried that, and that's good too. Let me stick it nice crispy on that side. Oh yeah, that's what we're wanting. Uh, you can fry these, you can boil them. Uh, I would not recommend microwaving them. I believe you can. I believe it says on the package that you can, but I would not do that. Don't do that, guys. Microwaving is not the way to cook a, a bratwurst or a red hot one or anything like that. I don't even like cooking just basic. Uh, wieners that way. This is the best way to do it right here. Or boiling. I like boiling. Man, I, I tell my buddy about these things and he finally broke down and got some and then he sent me a picture of them and he microwaved them and I was like, oh man, don't microwave it. How black and <laughs> crusty you want these things is up to you. That one looks pretty good. And that one looks pretty good. Let's flip those over real quick. That's my plate. I'm about to get some uh, paper towels for it. Those are looking good. I think those are done. They're good enough for good enough for me. Alright. Alright, that one's done too. This one was kinda on the edge. Give it just a few more seconds. It don't take much. Once they get to a certain point, they'll go from pretty good to overdone real quick. Alright. So now, let's see. If I can get that twist tab off of there. Right, there we go. Now I got that butter in here. 
I don't want to have these in there for long. That's good enough. Let's get this uh, piece of cheese. Yeah, I'm trying to do all this red, one <laughs> red handed. I'm trying to do all this one handed. sauce here. Oh goodness. Get it everywhere. We'll mix that in real good. That's gonna be good. messy <laughs> but there you go earl campbell's red hot links fried with some spicy mayo and uh and some cheese let's see mm-hmm it's delicious real crispy that cheese and all that really adds to the flavor. Bread's nice and it's not super crispy, but it's just lightly toasted so it don't feel cold or soft. Mm-hmm. There you go. Real good sandwich. And eat it at the stove. That's my favorite way to eat anything is at the stove. Y'all have a good one. Hope you have a good rest of the day.